Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne, this is Day Rambles. Today we're doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 3, called Fight or Flight. Yep, I actually said that right. And you can see my dog in the background, so I say, do, do. Say hello to everybody. Anyway, uh, let's get into the episode, okay? So we start with uh, Kat Grant interviews uh, with Supergirl, and she's not a good interviewee, <laughs> and basically it slips about uh, Superman being her cousin, and then we cut to where Alice knows that Carl likes Jimmy as well as everyone else on the planet knows this, and then we cut to where Kara um, has to plan a party. And then Kara gets to help with a pileup, and then some guy attacks her. And then, um, turns out that person is Reactron, and the Dio is staying out of it because it's not an alien threat. It is just a regular person who has an insane ass suit. Then we cut to where Kat has, uh, writer's block, because that, that's never happened to her before, so she's kind of spazzing out about it. And then we cut to where Wynn found a base of operations for the team. Basically, it's an old um, office that no one goes into. It's currently being renovated, and they kind of just left it there. They left it like that. I don't know why I'm doing that. Sorry. And then uh, Supergirl found a way to track Reactron. And then we cut to where Maxwell Lord um, is working and firing people. And then Reactron shows up. And Max offers himself to take him. Then Kara blames herself because she couldn't stop him. Then Kara critiques Kat's speech and says it comes off catty and not great and kind of mean. <laughs> then uh, then she basically, uh, Kat gets her alert and she just leaves. Then Kara goes after a Reatron and she is losing really bad. And then she's almost down for the count. Then Superman steps in and um, helps. Then she uh, gets pissed at James because James calls Superman to get her. Then Alex encourages her. And then it's party time. And then Wynn and Kara dance. Then Kat and Max dance. And then uh, we cut to her Henshaw and Alex talk. Then Henshaw finally decides to help. Then we have James and Kara talk slash dance. Then Reactron crashes the party. And then they have a way to stop him. And basically she took out the reactor. And then he's off to jail. Basically calling him down before he does that. Saying like, this is not what your wife would have wanted. You need to calm down. Oh, and Supergirl rescued Max. And Max fixed his suit. I don't know why I didn't put that in there. I just remember that. Anyway. And then, basically, um, Alex tells Kara to ask James out, but then Lucy, which is uh, Lois Lane's little sister, comes into town and turns out that's James' ex, and she wants to talk to him, and Kara gets depressed, and then Superman messages her, and they have a little cute little conversation, so you did what I couldn't, you're such a good superhero. And that lovey dovey stuff, so that was cute. And then we have Alice and Cora have sister time, and that's the end of the episode. So, pretty good episode. I'll probably give this, uh, I'll give this a B. Plus. Could be in a touch better, but I do like the um, balance between comedy and seriousness and sci fi and all that stuff. I think they found the perfect way to blend all that together, so I really do like that. And I just like the characters so far. They are really, really, really good. And of course, I've already seen it. So I'm just trying to go on an episode by episode basis and I try to do a generalization of the entire seasons. Anyway, so anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree or disagree, and also leave suggestions for other stuff, whether it's movies, TV shows or music. Just let me know down below and I'll see y'all later. Bye everybody.